I'm just going to say that this is going to be a very, 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 very different video than a lot of my other videos have been. So, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story. Hope you like it. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Drew, better known as RockShox01, and today is going to be an interesting video. Uh, because it's not like my normal review, or it's not like my normal sh uh, shorts, which honestly have been getting less and less. But... It's actually going to be a story uh, this, that has happened this last week um, for me personally, and that is the story of when I went to the NCAA Volleyball Tournament and played drums. Yeah. Uh, I know there's been a couple videos. Uh, I posted one where I actually got to play in Allen Fieldhouse uh, one day, and uh, now that gets extended to an NCAA Tournament. Which is awesome. So, I'm gonna tell you basically what happened and uh, the way I'm feeling right now is incredible. So, here goes nothing. So, first off, I better explain like how we got here, so, or how I got to the situation. So, uh, KU Volleyball had a pretty decent season, over 500. Uh, they struggled the last three seasons to kind of maintain that, but this was a season that they actually did pretty well. Uh, came close to beating Texas one game, but unfortunately they didn't have uh, the capabilities to do it. But they ended the season on a four game winning streak. Uh, I was at a couple of those games, so I saw them do their magic. but. It was on that Sunday where they were anticipating to see if they made the NCAA tournament. And sure enough, as Selection Sunday came on and they were watching it on ESPN, they did make the tournament. So, and they found out the destination and all that stuff and who they were gonna play. And the destination, Omaha, Nebraska. The teams in that version of that bracket, the 14th overall seed Creighton is the host. They play Ole Miss, and then the other two are Oregon and Kansas. So the volleyball team was traveling to Omaha, which was good. And every like, I was thrilled that they actually made the NCAA tournament. First time since 2017 they made the tournament. But the day after is when this gets crazy. So I was in one of my classes, and then an email came across. Uh, it was one of my, uh, it was the volleyball band director. Uh, he said, this is urgent. You got to get this done. And what that email said is like, you have been selected to travel with the band to Omaha, Nebraska to play for the volleyball tournament, which I was like, what? <laughs> and first, and like was thinking, going through my mind was like, okay, someone else must have got this too. And I already said yes to the email, so like I filled out the form, basically told them what all I needed to do, and basically marked it as yes, I'll be able to go. But when I got to band that day, I asked other people who were like in basketball band, they were travel band and all that stuff, and I said, hey, did you get this email? And they said, no. So yes, found out that I was the only one who got that email and was gonna travel to Omaha, Nebraska on Thursday and get to play with the band and, and play for the volleyball team, hopefully to some victories. So, and that was awesome, finding that out. So I had to email some of my teachers and they were okay with it. They were actually very thrilled that that got to happen and you know, uh, a lot of, I told a lot of people that too. I told my parents that they actually bought tickets to those two games uh, for Thursday and Friday, uh, depending. But uh, so Monday through Wednesday goes by and then we get to Thursday. So KU plays Oregon on Thursday. I didn't get any video clips with that because, you know, we had struggled to get really, it was a lot of time constraint there. But we get on the bus. Uh, I had to get there at 
30, no, 11.15, to get a drum set from Allen Fieldhouse on the bus, which wasn't that hard, but the stuff that we have to carry is very, very heavy. Uh, the bass drum is about 15, 20 pounds, but the toughest one was this case, and it has all like the stands and like uh, bass pedal, seat, other equipment, stuff like that, and that probably weighs close to 50 to 60 pounds, and it's a heavy thing. Um, and I'm not that muscular, so I struggle with it. But yeah, so get on the bus. We leave at about noon. Uh, they fed us, and we were on our way to Omaha. We get there at about 3:30 in the afternoon because uh, the game starts at 4:30. So we get to the arena, and the worst thing happens, and the worst thing for almost any drummer, if they have a cart or anything like that, it's stairs. And so I had to carry those up those stairs and that, those stuff, which is about 80 to 90 pounds, sucks. And you had to make sure that they didn't fall, that nothing broke or anything like that. So we were fine, we got it working. Uh, Oregon didn't bring a band, so it was all us. So they had uh, where Creighton's bands normally plays because that's where their home arena is. Uh, they have this little platform thing for the drum set. So uh, I got to bring all my stuff up there, put it there, set it all up. Took me about 20 minutes, er, not 20 minutes, 10-ish uh, to get it all set up. Because it was a small set. We really had uh, a hi-hat, a crash, ride, all those were cymbals, the bass drum, a tenor drum that was like the floor tom and then the snare didn't have any other toms on top but um, yeah so it was very small and very compact so played a couple songs here and there mostly were fight songs uh, but the game gets started so KU plays organ and KU actually plays well uh, got some nice uh, Ooh, this is a tough word to say, but kills, um, aka the spike, so the volleyball spike, but that's what the term is, uh, so got a lot of those, uh, aces, so, and KU ends up winning, they beat Oregon in three straight sets, so they swept them, and that was great, you know, that was a great feeling, but then we also got done at like 6, 6.30. So we got back on the bus, went and ate. I ate at Freddy's, got myself a burger of some sort, and, you know, went from there. And then found out at about 9.30 that night, uh, we play Creighton. And oh boy, we were like, yep, we're going to get knocked out here because Creighton only lost three games. And they were 31 and 3. We just ended up beating a team that was a high quality team. They made the Sweet 16 the year before. Uh, they have less losses than us. They got a 20 win season. We're, we're done for. That's what we thought. But at least we got to play the another day. So Friday rolls along. And uh, we didn't stay the night, so we drove back. It was about 10.30 when we got back, but uh, Friday goes along. I go to my one class that day, uh, which I honestly told my professor that I would not be there. So, sorry, Professor Laird. I lied, but I still showed up to your class um, anyway. So, we were supposed to leave at around like 2.30, uh, but we had to like load at 1.45. Now, did we drink, bring the drum set back? No, we left it there. Uh, Creighton was so nice and so generous that they had a storage area where they had uh, their drum set stored. So we stored it there as well. Nice group of kids. But anyway, so we get on the bus, leave about 2.30, get there at about 5, 5.30. Because the game starts at 7, so 
we had time to eat, went to Panera Bread. First time I did that in a long time. Uh, then we got to the arena about six. Uh, then went inside and we had a little bit of trouble because I didn't know where I was going to play because that platform was reserved for crate and stuff and we had to play on the other side of the seats. So I said, well, where am I going to put a drum set? Well, um, I have a little video of where uh, they sat me and I'm going to describe it. So basically it's kind of like a bird's nest. So the entire band is on like one side of the arena or one side of the stands and I'm in like this little compressed like space and uh, put the drums up set up there had to go a little smaller because you know unfortunately I could have gone bigger but I just decided to go small and go basic just without the floor tom but yeah I was in my own seclusive space and it was very weird so here's that clip hi uh, present day drew here and uh, I made a goof so the video clip that I originally had of me uh, basically where I was situated for the volleyball tournament in Omaha, uh, yeah, I don't have that. Uh, so that's my bad. I deleted it by accident. So hopefully you can forgive me for that. But again, the thumbnail kind of gives it away. So hopefully that's a consolation prize. Anyway, so uh, after that, uh, we got to start playing, you know, we traded songs with Creighton, and then it was us, and then back and forth. Uh, then the game starts, and I remember this distinctively. After, like, we were up a bit in the first set, and they do at least five, if it can get there. So set one, KU had a big old lead, and... I started to get a little antsy saying, you know, we might actually win this thing. Sure enough, KU wins the first set handily. And, you know, a lot of my friends on the bus were saying, yeah, we'll, it'll go four sets, but we'll, we'll still get beat. Well, there's that first set. And it's like, well, here goes three straight. And then the second set comes around. And... We actually win that one too. So now we are one set away from heading to the Sweet 16 in Pittsburgh. Is that that's where the location will be? So we do that, and then the third set, uh, Creighton ends up kicking our butts that round. So it's like, well, now here comes the three straight. We're gonna go to a five, and we're gonna choke it in the fifth. So, but then anyway, the fourth set comes around. It's basically back and forth, and KU has a good lead enough to win the match. And I actually recorded the final point as KU ended up winning. Here's that clip. <laughs> After that clip was done, we played like in our normal songs, like that we played Wave the Weed, we played I'm a Jayhawk, the alma mater and Rock Shot chant. I hit the snare and bass as hard as I could because I was so happy. I am surprised that I did not break the head. Uh, cause I was playing as loud as I could. And yeah, it was awesome. Uh, the volleyball team like did very well. I enjoyed it, uh, and now I really, really hope that you know this continues. And and I'm praying to God that I can do something like this video again if KU goes to Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh, uh, it it will be tough because we'd have to go through not only the third ranked team in the country in Pitt. But you also might have to face Penn State, who has won like four national championships in a row in the early 2000s. Then we also have BYU, another good West Coast team. So, but yeah.
So that's basically my story of the time I went to Omaha, Nebraska, played drums for an NCAA volleyball tournament. And yeah, it was fun. So anyway, that's the video. Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Push that notification bell, tell your friends about these videos. And I should see you again whenever the next one comes out. I think it's going to still be that KU review against UTEP. But again, I don't know. So, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed my story. Um, but until then, have a good day. Never ever bring exotic dancers to the field house. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.